She has worms. Um, she's much skinnier than she was before. Really? So, so you think little... maybe they're they're caught, they're affecting her? Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. treat it. Yeah. Let's see if we can get her feeling better and, and get those worms taken care of. Giving an elephant medications is is pretty challenging actually, and they're very stubborn, and they don't like medications so much, like many animals. <laughs> For her, what we're doing is wrapping up these little elephant, they call them elephant sandwiches, and they look like a little grass burrito. And so basically, I'm taking the grass and winding it up in a little bowl. I'm putting in some of her favorite grains and some fruits and a little bit of molasses to sweeten it up, and then the medications. I use pill pockets all the time. I've done this before, but not exactly for elephants. All right, I got some treats for you. Which one is it? Which one is it? You don't know. I gotta fool you. Oh, maybe it's not this one. <laughs> Giving an elephant medication is a little bit complicated because these elephants, they can actually smell the tablet medication. It doesn't smell like much to me, but they can smell it. Come on, baby. Here we go. What I have to do is give her an empty pill pocket, so just a real elephant sandwich, get that in her trunk, and then I have to take the pill pocket sandwich and put that in her mouth before she can smell it with her trunk. Apparently an elephant here. This is not something I expect to be doing today. And it's a lot more challenging than pilling a lot of other animals I've pilled. Oh, man. All right. We're getting serious. I'm getting your elephant sandwich in. Can we please eat this? Please. Stop it, come on. There we go, there we go. Oh, we might be in. Oh, we're in. We're in. We're in. Oh my gosh. Did this actually happen? Did I just pill an elephant? Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. I know you don't realize this, but it's for your own good. All right, today is a very proud veterinary moment for me. I pilled my first elephant. I did. It wasn't easy. It took a while. But we finally got those meds in. And she is such a sweetheart for letting me work with her. Because if she wanted to, she could have trampled me and bucked me about 50 yards that way. She didn't. She took her medications like a good girl. Thank you for that. I get a little trunk hug. I love you. Thank you. Being in a place called Tiger Tops, I wasn't expecting them to have so much care for elephants. And there's one more case here they want me to check out, and I'm always happy to help. Is this my water for her? My last patient today is a very special one. Her name is Raj Kali. And Raj Kali is a loner. She doesn't really get along with the other elephants. And my heart kind of goes out to her for that reason, because she doesn't have this social bond with them, and she's on her own. I told them she used to be a temple elephant, and she was not cared for very well at that time. And she's got a pretty significant abscess on her face. So Raj Kali was just spending a little too much time lying down. And she's almost got like a little bed sore. It's like a pressure sore. Yeah, like any animal, elephants can get abscesses, but they can be dangerous. You know, this infection can stay local. It can also spread to other parts of the body. And that's something we don't want happening. You can see that dirt in there. I just want to scrub all that out. That's a nice deep pocketing abscess. That's not good, because that's just trapping infection. So we're going to flush it from both sides. We're going to flush in here. We're going to flush in there. It's going to really help us in flushing this thing out, as opposed to just being one big pocket by itself. I just want to stir that around. That's a nice little flush. Oh. Rajkali, you're being very good, baby. I know this isn't fun. I'm sorry. Look at that. Look at this. I'm getting it right out there. Exactly what we want to be doing. I just want to flush from this side, too. That's exactly what I want to see. Rajkali, you're being so good, baby. This is easy. That's perfect. What I want to do is actually feel and probe the extent of the wound. That's very important when you're working with an abscess. You need to know how deep it is and how deep you need to be doing your work because those are going to be the most effective at trapping bacteria and, and manifesting infection. What you're looking at is a lesion that's this big. And we're lucky here that Rosh Kali is tolerating this very well. 
and she's eating, which is a really good sign of an animal. Stressed out animals aren't gonna eat. She might even know that I'm helping her out, but she's definitely letting us work with her, and she's very comfortable. Now that we've gotten this thing flushed out, we're gonna pack it with an antibiotic. The flush was a general antiseptic. It just kills all kinds of germs and stuff, but this antibiotic is designed to kill bacteria. All right. Brush Kylie, thank you. Thank you so much. You've been so good. You have been so good for your little abscess treatment. You make my job so easy, you know that? This could have been a really big challenge. This might not even have happened. And you were a sweet, sweet girl. You're a very special girl. I know you're kind of a loner elephant, too. So my heart really goes out to you, because I know you're not really getting along with these other guys, and you don't really like other elephants, and you just kind of like to do your own thing. And uh, it makes me want to help you, you know that? Yeah, I feel like I really had a personal connection with Raj Kali. And getting that moment with her, that's something I really value as a vet. And I love doing. It's not just going in and doing your work and, and, and working on the animal and doing procedures and doing doing the vet work. It's it really a big part of it's you know connecting with your patients and having that human animal bond. It's special. That was that was super special. 